Okay, everybody, welcome. I'm with Ender, and he is here to show me his ship, the Kvekfa. So, if you would like to tell me a little bit about this ship. And All it's right, colourful. You carry on, I'm just going to spew rainbows. Alright, <laughs> so, I originally thought of this ship when I started building it was, um, I liked the runway, to build a runway inside of it, so I went, went for a long runway, and then I thought, this is my mushroom fleet ship, so it needs to have colours. Nice. Oh wow, that's that's pretty. And then um, the name means lightning. I won't tell you what language it's from. Oops. Somebody will know if they're a nerd. <laughs> um, but it means lightning. It's built to be a carrier, kind of like a home base carrier, you could say. Yep. Um, it has a restaurant, and it's really big on the inside. See that. Oh, and I have it wired up for Plex doors, by the way. So, like the ship, like the front ship Plex doors you see here, I can close those from both the bridge and the core room without, you know, being in the ship or anything. Got some nice little ships in here as well. Ooh, I like the blue and purple one here in the back. Yeah. Yes. Thank that you. thing is. Really dig the core room oh. too. Very sci-fi-ish. This reminds me of like a. Wipeout. A villainous ship from an old school anime. Looks like <laughs> looks like the Quirex ship from Wipeout. I can even name you the team. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> really oh. nice job with the uh, vertical asymmetry as well. Thank you. It's a um, pretty complicated shape. The uh, colors on the walls are not just for prettiness, they are actually color coded. So blue leads to the core room, red leads to the bridge, white leads to the bottom turret. Green leads to uh, the engineering, and I think that's it. Oh, and this is an observation deck. Look at these corridors. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't, I don't think the surfboard will fit down that curve. <laughs> I don't think I can get around that corner. Wait, let me let me get out of my core too here. Uh, there's a gra should be a gravity block back by the door into the corridors. I was just like these corridors are huge. Wait a minute, you've hidden more ships underneath the hangar. Yes, uh, that's actually where my racer is stored and where my Ooh. two shuttles are. <laughs> Who jumped off the surfboard? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, probably, yeah, cheers. <clears throat> Tom, why am I sitting in on this review? I'm, like, ready to go build something now. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> All these great ships. <laughs> yeah, sure. I kept crashing out, so I... Where are you, Tom? I can't find you. Um, I'm derping. I think I... I... Can't... Oh no, I'm you're like not derping. Around, you're like, succeeding, you go, bro. Man? I'm not sure where I managed to... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there you are. You're in the other corridor. Ah, uh, you're in one of the observation decks. <laughs> I like the core room. Thank you. Yeah, wow. I just managed to make my way there. That is... <laughs> Help, <laughs> <laughs> Tom is so done, like he's stuck. There's no way he's getting out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> There's somebody. <laughs> okay. The corridors are that wide, but they're not quite that wide. <laughs> Dude, this isn't even the short board. This is like the V3 with the faction block. Oh no, I'm stuck in the gravity of it. Look. But whenever oh, no, he no, moves, no, no, no. it's moving me. Look, he's got me. Yeah, I see it, I see it Tom. Yet? He's got so me weird. a player tractor beam. Yelby can do it, he's the man for the job. I'm gonna step onto the board. Here we go. And... Yay! That I block in the reactor room, is that the faction block? Oh yes, block? Yelby, you found the way out. Yes, that is the faction block, indeed. Nice. Tom, if you want to come see this. Where are you? Follow, uh, follow the green lines. What green lines? The ones on the walls. <laughs> okay, hang yeah. on. Let me just, uh... <laughs> uh cheers, Yelby. I'll try not to get stuck in the building again. Right, follow the green lines. Green lines. Wait a minute. Is is that a word Ooh. from Aragon? Wow. Dang, somebody is a nerd. Wow. <laughs> what is this? This is like... What are you in? I'm are you in, in the, the core room? room. Oh, welcome to the core room, sir. Wow. I, I, was, I saw it on my way here and... Welcome to the core room, home you, of you the core. May we take your order? Yeah, you can't not stop and have a look in here. 
That is that is an engine. It is, isn't it? Right, going back. What do you call this engine? Yeah. This is the the this is the hyperdrive. The hyperdrive. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you can actually go well inside played, the warp core uh, if well you go up played. the side ramps. You can go inside of it, check it out. If you're a person, of course, not in build mode. <laughs> oh, I'm quite good with that, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. And you could see the lava is just sort of a fuel slash coolant. <laughs> Whichever one it wants to be at any time. <laughs> I fuel. It's the fuel of tomorrow. It is. Actually, oh, the SR-71 uh, Blackbird used its fuel as coolant, so I could say... Could say that. Some basis in reality. <laughs> do, you, do you still have work to do on this ship? Say again? Do you still have work to do on this ship? Um, are you talking about the empty inside? No, not really. There's okay, yeah, uh, there is a lot of empty space for modification. I haven't added a lot of systems to it that well, I could add. Weapons patch ah. is common. Yeah, that's part of the reason also. Um, I also don't want to put too much work into it and then realize, oh, I need to change everything. Ah, okay. So, yeah. I was just wondering because um, uh, little stuff like on the outside of the engine room, the water goes through the wall. Oh, yeah. dude, right. Look at this. The, the, that little staircase leading up to the hatch. Black run made out of wedges. Love it. It's the little what? things. Mm -hmm. Leads to your turret access. Kind oh, of. yeah, 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 that. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's a really nice Thank touch. You. Just little things like that set it off. And also, you've got nice detailing around your actual turret docks themselves, the purple wedges you put in really sets off against the blue. You don't notice until you're up close. Right. But it's a nice touch. Also the waviness of the wedge design. You've got like a staggered wedge in the purple on the outside. That's really nice. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Just generally pixel art is strong with this one. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Um, oh. If you go... Where are you? He's got a couple... There's a couple of docks on top, too. Yes, those are for shuttles and arriving dignitaries. So if you ever want to have lunch at my restaurant, dock there. I don't think I've found the restaurant yet. That's because it's on the very, very top. Yep, that's oh. it. Just heading up to the top now, I think. Yeah, I found The it. first floor of the bridge is the bridge, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> I see it now. And the, se and the first floor is the... That is also color-coded. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that one out. Um, right. <laughs> weapons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the front of the bridge on this little indent. Uh, oh. Big place for the captain to sit. What do you know about chairs? I learned from the best, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I'm watching too many of your videos. <laughs> there's never, there's no such thing as watching too many. <laughs> Chair game strong. <laughs> I definitely know what you mean. <laughs> Chair game strong indeed. The chair is strong with this one. Uh, yeah, it really is. <laughs> and if I go up, he's he's got a showcase of many chair designs. He's not just stuck with one chair design and gone. Nah, just put that everywhere. It's actually got different chairs for different reasons, like. Star Trek shares that are too small for anyone to sit on. <laughs> Command <Yeah. laughs> Commander Riker. Yeah, how is this still? Um, this restaurant is also called Ender's Grill and Bar. Ender's because there's a bar. Oh look, the Rama's back from 100, 100, 100, or from 50, 50, 50. Man, that one must have been an epic trip. I wonder if, if yeah. he's uh, not going to ram anyone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep him locked. That would be cool. I'm going to keep him locked. I'm going to go ahead and prime the command. And <laughs> the command. we'll he see what happens. He, has, he hasn't rammed anyone yet, so it's all good. So nice. what was the name of this ship again, please? The Kavekva. The Kavekva by... Ender. Ender. So then, yeah. Uh, beautiful ship. Um, pretty. Is it combat effective? Weapons and things? Um, it's not perfect, and it could be better, but it is very effective against pirate bases. All oh, right, that's fair enough. 
Excellent. Well, can't wait to see more of it and your next creations. Um, and thank you for bringing it along to the lineup review. So we're going to go and find the next person now. Um, so thanks again. I really love the colours. Seriously love the colours. Because no, just, just colour is good, you know. I like it. <laughs> I like the colour too. It's good, it's good. Yeah, Delmont. So, <laughs> I've started adding red and grey, don't you tell me. So you have the choice of staying here, um, or obviously flying away into the great black beyond. Yeah, I'm gonna stick around. Enterprise wants to show me some stuff. Stick around, okay, excellent. So we're gonna find that next person. Thank you very much.